going live. <laughs> going live, cha cha cha. Hello and welcome to the Velveteen Lounge Kitchen. I hope you're having a fabulous weekend. Um, we're having a sunny day here in New York, which is nice because tomorrow is supposed to be rainy. But that's okay because rain happens to be the theme of next Tuesday's Velveteen Lounge Kitchen episode. So we need a little rain to make that happen. So anyway, anyway, we are sampling this evening Old Monk Rum, which comes to us from India. I did a little bit of research. Hello! Oh, we have... Oh! Joy! Yes, hello! Welcome! <laughs> Today we're trying Old Monk Rum, which I love because it comes in this figural Old Monk bottle. I am your monk. <laughs> <laughs> it's fabulous. We we tend to buy this for people. And, hi, Lori's. Yes. We tend to buy this for people um, because it's in a figural bottle. So, you know. So it's fun. And, and it's not too expensive. So well, it's it also, makes a good gift and it is for the, us. the aged version of this particular distillery. So it's kind of nice. Yes. And this and comes I, from India. And interestingly. I, I think that the reason we're able to get it is because the people who run... My favorite liquor store in our town are from India. So um, thanks to them, we have Old Monk Rum. Yes. And I did a little research today and found out that there's already an argument. They say it it, um, it came to the market in 1954. Or? Or in the 1960s. So anyway, it's a mid-century product coming to market, although the background for it was laid in 1885. So anyway, if you go to Wikipedia, you can learn more about Old Monk Rum. Apparently, sugarcane historically comes <laughs> from the, the Indus or the subcontinent. So India has probably been making liquor yeah. from sugarcane for a very long time. By the way, we're a little high here. We could actually get this a little lower. Oh, look at that. Oh, I don't think we adjusted the tripod, did we? No. Oops. <laughs> That's okay. We can do it now. I really wanted to go live Hi, sometime folks. <laughs> near seven since we said seven. Oh, well. But anyway. On the fly. Oh, that's a little better. Yep. So, should we open up the old monk and give him a spin? What are we here for? All right. So, I, I learned when I tried to pick him up by the head that his little head thing comes head off. Head pops off. Ah, oh. ah, 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 my head. It's a horror show. Anyway. <laughs> we can do this around Halloween as well, you know? And it conveniently for us has a screw cap, so... Yeah, I was about to say we won't have any embarrassing incidents, but you know I it's, shouldn't it's, I shouldn't get cocky. Is the screw cap giving you trouble? Is the screw cap is giving me oh, trouble. Oh boy! You know I don't. I don't <laughs> Maybe it should have had a cord. I don't blame the co-host. <laughs> I think this is a pretty cheap screw cap. You know. Oh. The fact is, a screw cap usually does mean cheap. So well. Uh, would it be hilarious if we can't get it over? There are two ways you could possibly do this. In case anybody's ever having trouble with one of these damn screw cap bottles, particularly if it's a cheap bottle of wine, first you want to actually <laughs> grab the bottle hard, pull on this end, and see if you can actually <laughs> kind of enforce that to oh happen. Boy. Except it's sideways, so it's going to spill. I can deal with a little spillage. No, I, I can't. Sticky. Okay, that's not happening. Hand me a knife, please. <laughs> Second this way. This is already fun. Yeah, Only you know, that comments were missing. I'm sorry. Oh, it's I'm okay. Sorry. Well, oh, we have a lot of comments. Wait a minute. I know. How do you open the bottle? Oh, yeah. That's a good question. Uh, Devin, with... We're trying to figure that out right now. <laughs> with difficulty. That's it. <laughs> we might need to go get a, a, some pliers or something. Here's the bottle for a Halloween uh, flower arrangement. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. it's great. I'm just... Um, Second way you can possibly open up one of these damn cheap screw caps <laughs> is you'll see these little perforations are on the bottom. Take a knife, pop the perfs. Yeah, there you yeah. go. It's usually like bang, pop bang, the perfs. bang, you know. This is... Hope this knife is good. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Or I'm coming back with something else, you know. Oh boy. I think we might have to go get tools. Well, let's see if this tool actually does the job. This is a pretty good tool, actually. <laughs> like, not bar tools. Yeah, yeah, tool tools. <laughs> tool tools. Tool tools. Oh, it's coming, it's coming. Oh, oh, good. Yeah. That should be their slogan, Old Monk. You have to work for it. Oh, it, oh, I think it's almost open. There we go. Okay, ah, it's open. Breaks knife, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it tried, that it really tried. All right, but we're gonna give it a try. Tap on the top a couple of times. Well, you know, I, I probably would have just taken the saber and <laughs> topped it like a champagne bottle. You know? Okay. Classic. Here we go. So, here we go. so this is our first taste this of is our Old Monk. Very old. Oh, and old it's for, the bottle vacuum. is drippy. Um, let's just yeah, point is. that out. Okay. We'll bear that in mind. Ein Prost. Ein Ooh. 
Okay, no, that's very it's interesting. It's really good. I'm getting yep. a really heavy vanilla hit. Vanilla caramel, those kind of mm. notes. It's it's got a very particular kind of sweetness good. to it. Kind of almost, I would I would say candy, except it makes it sound kind of no, crap. No, no, it's no, yeah, so it's, it's actually more, more caramel. It's um, more caramel notes. I could see sipping this for dessert on a winter evening easily. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's actually when they say old, yeah, it's this been aged. Is good. It's got niceness to it. It's got some color to it. Hello. Wow, happy discovery. And I think this bottle was. Nineteen dollars. I mean, yeah, it was, for old stuff, cheap. Yeah, and and, and it's aged for seven years. I, I learned this on Wikipedia too. Dennis, cheers, cheers to you, oh, sir. Uh, Villa de Rey, hello. Yes, hello. Else? Andrew so, Davis, carefully, yes. Oh. Yes, we're trying Old Monk Rum, which I have to say I am thrilled with, even though the bottle is hard to open and drippy. It's worth it once you get it open. The bottle would be good for a D and D campaign if someone's playing a monk. You know, it's interesting. We have a friend who uses the small version of the Deadhead Rum bottle as a playing piece. Who? Yes, Death Joe. Oh, for what game? I don't know. I'll have to ask him. Oh, but yeah, well, anyway, it's like a shrunken like, head. Like I know anything about it's, games. It's a, but... it's a nip bottle size and it's a little shrunken head. It's really cute. Oh yeah, yeah. Deadhead Rum. But anyway, but, so wait, but we're talking about old. We're talking about old monk. Right. So. So. I'm anyway. talking about monk. <laughs> we can dig it. Well, let's so. check it out. <laughs> So, anyway, um, your uh, balls in your court, miss. Okay, I, it's time to mix. So, I am going to start with two ounces of the old. I'll monk. keep sipping. Yeah. You know, normally mm. I would pour my sipper in here, but I'm going to keep my sipper separate because it's so good. Separate sippers. That I also want to sip it. And I'm going to add a half ounce of fresh lime juice. And I thought, you know, earlier, maybe okay. I would add some vanilla or something, but this does not need any more vanilla. It has those notes. So let's see what you've put on the bar. Apricot, pineapple. Pineapple cordial. You know what I want? You've laid out all these lovely bottles. Yes. I think I want the ginger. Oh. Do you mind? Okay. No, I don't mind. He has to duck out for just a second. Pardon but, me. But you, these are, this is a great selection. You can check comments. Honestly, so. Thank you. Oh, here we go. Oh, look, the ginger's almost empty. Oops. If you're thinking of starting a YouTube channel, don't start a liquor channel because it's really expensive. <laughs> so, would it be good over ice cream? Yeah, probably. It would be great over ice cream. So anyway, um, I just added a half ounce of ginger liqueur. So, so far we have two ounces of the Old Monk rum, a half ounce of fresh lime juice, and a half ounce of ginger liqueur. Tammy just jumped in, by the way. Hi, Hello. Tammy! And what else am I thinking? I think some bitters. Well, I'm here. The cherry. They should be, oh, they're right in front. Easy. Ah, thank you. So I'm gonna add just a, a few dashes of cherry bitters to this. And let's see, I'm gonna shake it up with some ice. I've already iced my tin. I, I'm very optimistic about this one. We just got a comment. Let's see. And strain it into a cocktail glass. Vila says, Feed Brothers, nice sherry bitters. Yes. Yeah. And Devin says, a ring is pretty. Oh, thank you. This was my aunt's. I have a bunch of rings that I got from my aunt. So anyway, why am I handing that to you? I have no idea. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Oh, so good. Pardon. So that was two ounces of Old Monk rum, a half ounce of fresh lime juice, a half ounce of ginger liqueur, and um, probably I'd say four dashes of the Fee Brothers cherry bitters. and. It's really good. There's a lot oh. of strong flavors to play with. So you do want to give a heavy hit on the cherry bitters, because mm -hmm. otherwise it might get lost. But I think you've got, the flavors are coming through. I can tell that this rum has a very specific flavor component mm -hmm. to it. Like, yeah, so. Oh man, that's mm. good. I don't think I could tell at 10 paces, it's all long, but I could tell there's sort of a vanilla hit, sort of a caramel hit to that rum. Yeah, wow, it's coming Wow, this is really crowded. Let's see, yeah. <laughs> Ready off places to put stuff. Uh, Lori says the aunt, the aunt that kept everything. Yes. Yes. That aunt. Yes. <laughs> yeah, she um, she's still alive. She's just um doesn't have all of her stuff anymore. So. 
Marbles may be missing. <laughs> it all lives here. Uh, but, um, yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking about her, her mind, but her stuff, yeah, her stuff's here. Yeah, her stuff's all here. No, but, um, is, yeah, so anyway. <laughs> Frankly, she's not missing it, and she might have trashed it, so, uh, you know. Yeah, so. You might as well. One of her rings. Is that the one that's the, uh... Well, she had, a, like, a bunch that were all alike, just different oh, yeah. colors, so. That's a nice one. Yeah. So. So she's one that was a flight attendant for Continental. Yes. So in the 60s and 70s, oh. and the really glamorous era of flying. So We showed some of her brochures in previous yeah, episodes. Yeah, so good stuff. If you're into vintage travel at all. <laughs> anyway. We got uh, some comments. It sounds so yummy. Is. It is really uh, yummy. Oh, snap. You got I'm it, gonna baby. I was going to say, if you can find Old Monk rum, which... Like I said, the people, it's from India, and the people who run my favorite liquor store in our town are from India, which is why they have it, and it's great. It not only does it come in a cute bottle, but it's, I love it. It's good really rum. Good. It's really good rum, and it's, you know, pretty Maybe we should take cheap. it to Ohana. Well. If you're coming to Ohana. Luau at the lake. Lake George. Less than three weeks. Less than three weeks. Wait, wait, when is that? Three weeks. Ah! It's not three weeks. It's less uh, than three less weeks. Less than three weeks. We're, of well, course, a little bit in panic. We're prepared. We're well, totally prepared. We're hosting a crawl room. Which, Correct. if you've never been to a room crawl, is like a pub crawl, except people go from room to room in the hotel. In a hotel. And drink. So anyway, we're hosting right. a room in the room crawl, and um, the next day we're vending. Hmm. Velveteen Lounge Kitchen merchandise, and we'll have free drinks. So if you're coming to Ohana... Be sure to come to our table on Saturday, our vending table, for free drinks. You don't have to buy anything, so yay. Go check it out. I'm excited, but it, man, hey. it's a lot of prep. It's no Always. joke. It's no joke buying rum for 300 people. Oh, boy. So anyway. <laughs> it's it's no small expense, but, but it, you know, it's, it's, it's what you do. It's what you oh, do. Take care of people. Yeah. Well, let's see what we got here. That bottle is so cool. Yeah. That bottle is fabulous. Will it be the Tiki Room Crawl? Well, we're, maybe. We might just. Uh, Julie says, I wish we could go. I do, too. I wish so, too. I think you'd yeah. love it. I think you'd have a really I, I, good time. <laughs> and uh, as a camera professional, you'd be like, I want to take pictures of it. There are going to be several YouTubers yeah. there. Several of the yeah. attendees are also YouTubers, so we're planning to do some live stuff from there. I think it'll be really fun. Cheers from Hooligan Acres. Hello. Hello. Welcome. We're... Drinking rum, and it's really good rum too. I gotta say, for nineteen dollars, well, this was a bargain. Old good price. monk rum. Look for it. So, so we got the monk. So anyway, Paul hasn't made anything yet. Well, I got an empty glass. Mm. I got a shaker full of ice. <laughs> Maybe it's time to do something. <laughs> yeah, Let's so. try this out. And I'm also doing a cocktail size thing because those glasses are cold. And we'll start with two ounces because that's sort of your standard pour. I normally will do that. Where's the timer on this? Thank you. You can Got take it. a monk, please. Yes. That'd be awesome. I'll put his head back on. Yeah, re put his, replace his head, please. Look, he's he's lost a lot of body weight, though. Well, look at that. <laughs> he He's much lower than he was. Oh, yeah, yeah. Slightly down. There we go. How about that? Isn't that, isn't that cute? Well, 750 mil does not last long, after all. So, we if I were try. to do something with this, I would definitely throw some sour in. So, let's start with some uh, lime and about half ounce. Okay, that's good. I always say we need a bigger bar, but I don't think I could part with this bar. No, oh, this is the bar. No, we can't come. Let's see. There we go. He's right in front. Cha, cha, cha. Okay, we have people coming in to people. Uh, for some reason, Hooligan Acres makes me think of Scooby Doo's town, Coconut Grows, and Brian says, We grow hops and brew, brew beer and press cider, but love your show. Oh, we thank you. We love hoppy beer. I love a hoppy beer is my. We, we love beer. homemade beer and we yes. love homemade cider. Awesome. Yes. That's oh my just gosh. Incredible. Where, where are you? <laughs> where are you, sir? Yes. I want to go there. Come see us. We'll yes. come see you. Yeah, exactly. So, Road great. trip. Yep. So let's actually proceed with... Wouldn't it be funny if we were in the same town? It'd be hysterical. <laughs> we have a cider press just down the, the pike there. They make fantastic hard cider. Yeah. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Really good. Okay, so let's actually proceed. I think I will give... What do you think? Mm -hmm. 
You think about this one? Yeah. Okay. Taking, I, I actually thought about using that I'm one. I'm taking but... advice, and I'm going to go with the pineapple coconut, R.W. Knudsen. Organic, Knudsen. all this kind of stuff. Pickle for and Shirley, Knudsen. Knudsen. And about a half ounce of that, yep. Half ounce of lime, half ounce of the pineapple coconut. I wish I could read the comments while Paul is making his drink. I will get to the comments in no time at all. And He's got I'm, so much to do. What's going to complement this very well? Well, do you want to, what, what did you put over here? I got that. Those are the, the passion. Oh, yummy. That yeah. would be good. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to give a squirt of the Boy Drinks World Passion Fruit. The yeah. Passion Fruit bitters are really good. We'll give that a squirt. Mm -hmm. And we'll check out some comments here. <laughs> we hop our cider. Excellent mm -hmm. idea, sir. Is it legal to ship beer? Uh, yes. You can ship to New York. Yes, you can. It depends yes. on your state. Check your state. Yeah, Those but, rules but, have changed. Yes, but New York is a, a state that it's legal to ship to. Since Prohibition, we have 50 sets of rules. <sighs> uh, but, you know, you figure your way through them, you can figure stuff out. A lot of that has changed. You, you, didn't, you were not able to distill liquors as a small distillery in New York State until very recently, and now it's just nuts. Everybody's making it. We have, for instance... Bootlegger Gin, we had an episode from. I know. Fantastic oh, stuff. Prohibition Distillery. Really good stuff, Prohibition. Box. If you're near if you're near Roscoe, New York, and you're like, gee, I want to do some fly fishing, do that and then check out the distillery. It's like the tr the trout fishing capital of the world or something. That's what they say. Or, yeah, I think trout fishing. So I have got two ounces of the old monk, a half ounce of lime, a half ounce worth of the Newton pineapple coconut, and then a good squirt worth of the Boy Drinks World Passion Food Bitters. I'll put these recipes below. It takes YouTube a few minutes to render these episodes, so there will be a few minutes where Give it time. the recipes aren't there, but then I'll put them down. You'll see it. Yeah. I could use a glass. And let's shake All this right, up. Here we go. I got a glass for you. Well, hello. Oh, wait, that's a small one. <laughs> In the freezer. I think well, they're not even in here. Ah, this is a big one. <laughs> it's that happy sound. It is a happy sound. Cocktail? Cocktail? Have to try one of those exactly. sometime. Nick Charles. And let's give it a pour. Little show tender. Hey. I'm not throwing shakers around. I'm just no. going to give you a waterfall pour. <laughs> That's a bad idea. And, well, that's awfully good, too. Let's see. Let's check it out. I'll double fist while Paul changes the record. Oh, that's really nice. Wait, you did, okay, two ounces of the Old Monk rum. Right. A half ounce of fresh lime juice. Yep. How much of the pineapple coconut? Half. Half ounce of the pineapple coconut and a stopper of the passion fruit? Right. Oh boy, that's really good. Yeah, Tasty. Really good. Ah. I'm, I have to say I'm a fan of Old Monk Rum. And since we can get it locally for pretty cheap, yeah, <laughs> we can be fans for a while. It will be on our list for a while. Well, cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. So good. What do you think? I think I like this stuff a lot. We're going to keep it on hand. I think so too. Are we done or do you want to make something else? What does the audience say? Are we done? <laughs> Are we done <laughs> or should we make something else? I know what they're going to say. <laughs> Let's check some comments here. Now we're bored. <laughs> Those look like good cocktails to have with ribs, says Michael. And Tim says ribs. Yes, I have some ribs smoking. He in the actually right is now. smoking ribs out in the back. <laughs> we are literally smoking right now. Pardon me, I'm smoking. You know, it's like it's like the the gag in airplane. You know? Oh, more comments, yay! Wow. Make something else. One more. Okay. <laughs> Twist my arm. Keep pouring. Oh boy, I'm a little sticky, so I'm gonna wash up and uh, let's do something. Well, I'll keep pouring. You know what? I need my ice dumped. Yeah. And we, a new. Let's clean up. Tin. So anyway, while Paul takes care of that, what's everyone doing this weekend? I, I might have to duck out to read your comments, but um, love to know what you're up to. We're up to getting ready for Ohana and shooting Tuesday's episode. Oh, a comment. Do you make your own clothes for the videos? I did make this dress. Um, mostly. I mostly make my own clothes. Um. 
Sometimes it's vintage, but mostly. Um, let's see. Lawn work. Oh, beautiful weather in Buffalo this weekend. Oh, that's great. I know hey, right. Buffalo has the tough winters, so oh, man. you've earned it. Writing. A birthday massacre concert put the other night was awesome. Oh, awesome. Well, Devin is a super talented writer, and I can't wait to share her stuff with you when she's ready. So, um, let's see. Oh, thank you. The print is fun in my dress. Oh, Lori's. They're building a Lego Saturn V rocket. Oh, that's fabulous. I love that. Aww. Smoking ribs. Oh, Paula's smoking ribs too. You'll be posting pics on Instagram. Oh, awesome. I'll do that as well. Yes, yeah. Um, I'm sure Paul will post some pictures on Instagram too after he's done here. Oh. Tending our hops. Nice. Larissa says it's over three feet tall. Oh my God. <laughs> Wow, oh, awesome. that's some dedication. Anyway, oh, I seem to have a clean tin now, which is good. And let's see, I should make another drink. Hmm, okay. Old Monk rum for sure. Let's, oh, yay. So I know, that that's a big Lego. That is a lot of Lego, I gotta say. And apparently it's Seven Lego. Five. Apparently the, the plural of Lego is Lego. So that's a lot of Lego. Hmm. Okay, I wanna do something a little, I don't wanna do exactly what I did last time. So I think I'm going to go hot and spicy this time. Oh. So let's see, the old monk. I gotta pull his head off again. Ugh, okay, it comes off easily, happily. <laughs> And let's see, I got two. I'll start with two ounces again. It's such good stuff. I mean, this is such a happy discovery. Okay, another, I did two ounces of that. Oh, we got another comment. Oh, you, I love cocktails with salt rims too. Yeah. I'm trying to do some salt rims with some herbs in them too. So I have all these great ideas and then run out of time but this summer I will do some of those on our happy hour episodes oh my gosh this monk has lost a lot of weight <laughs> the plural of Lego is Lego blocks oh, oh okay there you go all right boy he has too it's not Legos I think Legos. people get mad at you when you say that yeah well there, so, there are fans so we, I did two ounces of the old monk run what were you gonna say we potentially have a Lego land coming like literally miles from us Near like miles. close. Pretty close. Goshen, New York. Apparently they want yep. to build a Lego land. I'm like all for it. And the people are opposing this. I'm like, come on, you idiots. Jeez, it's a thing. So, so far I've got two ounces of old punk rum and a half ounce of fresh lime juice. And I think I hope the back of my, my hair looks all right. Um, go. I'm going to go for the, oh, the very low Ancho Reyes. Bear day liqueur. look perfect on a hot day like today. You know, we actually got pretty warm for June in New York. It wasn't supposed to get warm today, and it did, it but was, I know, am not complaining. A little cool in the morning, but in the car, wow, pretty hot. Oh, my pretty gosh. Hot. Yeah, no, we I'm, went out. We're hot and dry in New York right now. It's kind of like San Diego weather. Yeah, you know. Before you know it, it's going to be Florida weather. Well, San Diego is supposed to be the most perfect weather in the country. That's what they say. So, okay, so, so far I've done two ounces of the Old Monk, a half ounce of fresh lime juice, and a half ounce of Ancho Reyes Verde liqueur. Oh, hello. What type of bitter should I use? Well, what's there is? You could add... You know, I could add a splash of this. We have some 100% juice, Ocean Spray 100% juice, because they have one that's not 100% juice, um, which I don't recommend, but... They have 100% juice cranberry mango. I'm going to add half ounce of that too, just to make it a little bit different. Let's see, we get some weather reports here. Baltimore weather is good at the moment. It won't oh. be for long, and you know that. <laughs> oh man! Oh, You're yeah. like the voice of doom. <laughs> I just said, you know, she knows Bad as well as I. Bad coming. It's great right now. As soon as we get into July, ah, it's killing you. Uh, San Francisco Bay Area, no humidity. Ace is high. Love that area. California. Fantastic. Oh, 
California. Uh, cranberry mango. Yeah, we got ocean spray. Yes. Commonly available. Check it, it out. It will be in our crawl drink, drink at Ohana. <laughs> we'll the and link. make sure they have this one as a cocktail and just 100% juice. Go for the juice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You have to look for 100% juice with the ocean spray, but it's good. Didn't you use that in the Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman episode? Didn't we? Yes, I yes. think so. Yep. Yes. And did we see it? No, we haven't seen that yet. Yep. Yeah, I know. But looking good. So anyway, um, okay, but I still want a bitters. And I'm going hot could, and spicy. You could amp the heat or... I think the hella. All right. The hella smoky, chill, smoked chili. Yeah, smoked chili. You have to find it. Here we go. I know. <laughs> we only have about 50 bottles of bitters. Yeah. Over. So anyway, so I did two ounces of the Old Monk rum, a half ounce of fresh lime juice, a half ounce of... And show right to think about it for a second. And show right a spirity liqueur, and about a half ounce of the ocean spray cranberry mango. I'm gonna add three dashes of Hella bitters, smoked chili bitters. And now I need to ice my tin because I used up all my ice. All right. So here we go. Pay no attention to the ice that fell on the bar. I'll throw it in my tin. All right, so we are going to shake that. And can you, is there a glass down there? Yes, there is. Or if there's not one that's big enough, there's one behind me in the freezer. Oh, thank you. Rain this into a cocktail glass. Let's see which one's the winner out of the three this evening. So far. Look at that. Oh, it's just the right amount. Check that for I'm just that good. I'll let you try it first. Oh, well, okay. There we go. So this again was the two ounces mixer. of the old monk rum. A half ounce of fresh lime juice, a half ounce of Ancha Reyes Verde liqueur. Oh yeah. A half ounce of the Ocean Spray Cranberry Mango and several dashes of the Hella Smoked Chili. Bitters. Smoked Chili, that's right. Oh, I'm getting a How'd lot get? of flavor and oh, heat out of it. Is it hot? I went for hot. It's not, it's not gonna burn you. We could actually burn you. Well, we're not going to do that right here. No. This actually just has like, you got a little bit of chili. You're like, oh, that's nice. Yes. And it's just a little bit of burn, a give me, give me, lot of flavor. We well, got two different heat working there. I think this is my favorite. Well, a lot of flavor. I thought the one Always I did good. before was so amazing, but I, I, I like hot. I'm a, I'm a hot and spicy gal. I like this one. The Hella. The Hella is definitely worth your time. Mm -hmm. If you can mail order, I think you can. Is it okay, on our I, um, Amazon? I think so, but okay. if it's not, I'll, I'll make sure that make it sure is. Make sure it is. It's good. Yeah. Rainy here in Texas. Oh, really? Oh. oh. What well, do you know? I, yeah. I mean, sometimes it's uh, good, but... Texas can do that to you. It's either rain or tornadoes. We're not mm. in a drought, so... Yeah. Yeah. It's a winner. Spicy always makes things better, correct? Yeah. We love ghost pepper pineapple cider. Really? Oh, oh yum. the oh. daring man! Oh, I. You know what? I was shopping for herbs today, and I almost bought a ghost pepper plant to make it yourself. Well, no, because I mean, we were we were buying herb plants, and I you, almost you bought grow a them. ghost pepper. But I bought a couple of others instead. But maybe we should go back and get a ghost pepper because I love the idea of growing them. <laughs> we have used the ground product. It is really astonishing. Yeah, it, it, it is. It will really take you back. <laughs> you can do pretty fun things with cocktails with that. It's like Homer Simpson. Oh, I just saw Mike on there. Hi, Mike! Cha-cha-cha. So, anyway. Oh, somebody said, I love your mini freezer. Oh, it's a race. I want one. Yeah. Oh, it's a good idea. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a lot of fun. So, uh, we turned our living room into a bar, basically. But <laughs> I once ate ghost pepper poppers with cream cheese and smoked gouda. 
You ate ghost pepper poppers? Good God, you're still walking on the earth? Wow, that's hot stuff. I wish I could have seen that. I want a rum drink with some chocolate. Well, we I wasn't planning to do that, but I will take suggestions. We sir. could do that. We could do that. We could do that. Let's think about that. I was going to go in a slightly different direction, but we could modify that. If you could ice me, my I lovely can, assistant. I, I can ice you. Then we can make something good. There's no room on this bar. <laughs> can you get rid of this and this? <laughs> Thank you. Yep. <laughs> we seriously have the smallest bar ever made. It is not the smallest <laughs> bar ever made, but it's not designed for 45 bottles. <laughs> That's fine. Right. Right, that's enough? All right. Yeah. Plenty. He likes less ice than I like. You don't need crazy ice. Enough to make it cold. I, I like ice. Oh, ice is good. Makes it cold. You know? Okay, so the chocolate is over there. Yeah, it is. Let's yeah. see about that. And I, let me think about what I want to do for a moment. Okay. Merely a moment. Did we actually use this stuff yet? The, no. Uh, well, this is the peaches. I thought this was the uh, pineapple. Oh. Oh. Ooh. I think pineapple would go better with uh, chocolate. I will. So. Never mind. He's removing that bottle. <laughs> <laughs> I, I still have some of my first drink. Let's see what I think. First drink, yummy. Pardon me, that was a little clumsy. Second drink, also yummy, but spicy. First drink, I still like that. It's a really good sour. Oh yeah. Let's make something that involves a little bit of chocolate, eh? Okay, so once again, I will probably go with the standard pour of two ounces, and this guy is really losing weight here. <laughs> He's got a nice gut from brewing all that beer, but wow, wow. we just opened that, and it's almost halfway down. I guess we'd run a liquor show. <laughs> I guess so. All right, see what we got him. So we always want to put some sour in there, and that's about half an ounce, probably, and it is. Okay. What happened to his screw cap? I just had it, didn't I? You had his head. Oh. <laughs> it's like a magician. Monk slide. Yeah, exactly. Monk slide. <laughs> That's funny. So what we're going to do with this, so I've got the, that and the, the bitter bit. I'm going to go with the uh, Polly and Jones Cordial Company. This is, I believe, a Connecticut company that makes yes, these cordials. I, yes. They're really very mild liqueurs that are made with real fruit. They are really tasty, and they're pretty cheap. So I recommend them if you can I've find them. I've never seen them anywhere except in our local store. That's my favorite store in town. That has the old monk. That has the old monk, and they they carry some kind of interesting products. So half ounce of that. So that's a cordial. It's not very heavy. If all you had was sort of a pineapple liqueur, that would work too. Oh my sure. gosh, the record just stopped again. It's a shame. And I'm going to throw in about three dashes of Fee Brothers Aztec Chocolate Bitters. Mm. Uh -huh. A good one. Yep. Can you hear that? The lawn mowing? It's that time of year. Let me see if I'm happy with this so far. One more thing. I've got apricot flavored brandy, Hiram Walker. I'm gonna give this a dash, just a dash. Mm. I'm thinking of this not really as a liqueur as much as an accent. That. It's really challenging to shoot on a Saturday or Sunday around here because everyone mows their lawns and our mics pick do? everything uh, up. Sensitive. So Unless you're shooting at midnight. <laughs> I believe Louise and Jilly are, uh, you know, sensitive Yeah, you to such probably issues. understand that this problem, but we're missing all kinds of comments. Oh, let's see. I love liquor and ice cream too. What's not to like? Seriously. Let's see. Apricot jam, apricot and habanero. Oh my gosh, apricot and habanero. 
bestow my heart. That that's a fabulous combination. I love that. You can Oh, you can't hear the mowing. Oh good, because it's loud. Ah Everyone started mowing one day. That's like our neighborhood. <laughs> like the weekend comes and everyone pulls out their lawnmowers, so yeah, YouTube problems. Hashtag YouTube problems. So, and <laughs> mm -mm -mm. well, my first drink is gone. Need to Good thing you're over second. Going on my second drink. Now, a uh, glass that would fit this. We might have to go in the freezer. Oh, there was one? Okay, good. I'm very excited to say that in not too many weeks, we're going to have Velveteen Lounge Kitchen branded cocktail glasses. So, I, I'm excited anyway. Stand by. Stand by. I like that too. We basically have ended up making four sour type cocktails. I like to shake it up, but in these things, I was inspired. Oh, I love that. You know something? I'm not getting enough chocolate. Since the chocolate we... is completely what I'm getting. It is? Yeah, really? taste it again. Oh, try it again. Okay. Before I add. I'm completely getting the chocolate. Oh, yeah, okay. Sorry. Yep. Yeah, no, that, that was like immediately chocolate. We had a request, we got it. The chocolate, Aztec Chocolate Bitters from Pea Brothers has a nice flavor. Yeah. A couple of shakes, you should get a pretty good hit unless you've got some very heavy liquor. And you don't even need to add, like, I was thinking he would add chocolate liqueur, but I mean, this no. drink, like the first note I got was chocolate and that was just from the bitters. It's, so. it's a sour type cocktail. Chocolate liqueur mm. might be pretty heavy and sugary. And sugary. Like, if you don't like your drinks Careful. overly sweet, yeah. you'd be like, wow, this is too sweet, but it's yeah. really good. Yeah. So, but anyway. Good stuff. Well. Is it time to pull those ribs off of the smoker? It's time to check them anyway. All right. Some final comments before we go. Okay. Drinking my drink. Oh, just got the Aztec chocolate bitter though. I think we'll try some. Mmm. Try them out. I think it'll be pretty happy. They're really fun. And it's it doesn't make your drink sweet. It has a chocolate note without being sweet, if that makes sense. Yeah, it's actually they tried to make something that said chocolate bitters and it mm -hmm. tastes like a chocolate bitters. Yeah. There are other chocolate bitters in the market which are excellent too. The Fee Brothers I recommend. I recommend the other ones. But these guys, yeah, check them out. They're actually good. I know about good what price. Is it? Bitter Truth. Bitter Truth. Bitter yeah. Truth makes those a chocolate bitter too. Those are good too. Yeah, so. Those are also very good. Yeah. Well, Devin says I was uh, awesome stream. I, I was feeling a little blue. Oh yeah. Oh. Okay. You know that's what we do. I know. We make cocktails for people. They feel a little better. I've honestly this past week I've I had like a kind of a health scare. Oh. So I understand. Boy. It's, there's. It's, Enjoy your life. That's all I can say. I mean, do it while you have it. Yeah, I mean, I, I, it turns out I'm fine, most likely. I think it was an infection, but, yeah. but, under control. But I honestly, like, I'm a fan of Cherry Dollface, who has a YouTube channel, and she's huge, way bigger than we are, and she has like 300,000 followers. She had heart surgery this week that failed. And that that gives you pause. It I does. have to say, like that's not that's scary. She's young. She's very young, and that's scary. So enjoy as much as you can, and do what you can to enjoy as much as you can. That's the thing. I mean, you know, sometimes I think we think, oh, I shouldn't do this or I shouldn't do that, and we shoot ourselves to death. But. Don't kill yourself. Do what you can to that. enjoy your life because, man, time is now. This is it. 
They also have really heavy note. I don't, I don't want to end on this heavy note, but, but seriously. Enjoy. What we do is show you how to enjoy your life a little better with good food and good drink and, uh, and keep it light and keep it simple, keep it easy. And there are some fantastic channels who've been watching, like uh, uh, Larissa, Larissa's who will Kitchen. Tell you how to make some great food. If you um, are it. YouTube inclined, which you clearly are, if you're here, you need to watch and subscribe to Larissa's Kitchen. Zing Cat. Yeah, who would tell you how to make things out of three ingredients? Yes, Zing Cat, who has fabulous puppets and can show you how to make things out of three ingredients. Um, Beer Bros. Oh, those guys. Yeah. They sample try, beers like crazy. They sample beers and they're hilarious. Oh. Funny guys. I think like, oh, Cooking with Little Spice. Yes. We love her too. Cooking with Cricket. Yep. She has a lot of recipes that are really easy, but they're such, they're so comforting. Yeah. You're just like, oh my gosh, please send me some now. And uh, Tammy checked in earlier. She will tell you how to like. Oh, constant consumer. She will actually work through some cosmetics so you don't have to waste your time. Well, all kinds of products. Yeah. She tries it so you don't buy it. Okay. I love our YouTube friends. I love all of our friends. And that's not drunk talk. I'm really not. Oh, drunk. no. I haven't had that many. Now. <laughs> Stick around for a few more rounds and you'll hear some drunk talk. Maybe we'll log on later tonight. Get a lot of comments that say grateful and have some smoked ribs. Thank you, folks. <laughs> it's all so good. Uh, Mayhem, Brazilian Cat and Cricket are awesome. Yes, they're a lot of fun. Yes. Enjoy the evening. Yes. See you in Lake George. Clover Bob. Yes. <gasps> See you, sir. Yay. Oh, See my you. gosh. I'm but so definitely. excited because this we our room crawl is either going to be the a big success or people are going to be scratching our heads. Probably both. <laughs> Our crawl room, should I, I should spill it, right? I've been telling everyone else. No, no, next time. Uh, okay. All right, so. Well, anyway, our crawl room will be very pink. Pink's the way to go. Yeah. I see some pink behind It'll us. It'll be pink and boozy. Mm. All right, well, folks. All right, so have a fabulous weekend, and we will see you on Tuesday for tips for rainy days. I gotta go check out some ribs. You gotta go check out some ribs. In which case, see you soon! Bye.